Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome or welcome back. I'm here today to share with you my quarterly update for 100 Colorful Empties. As you can see, we have the Zigster here. He has made me pet him for the last six minutes and it's time for me to film. So I don't know how long he's going to stay there. He may just, you know, decide that it's he's gotten his petting time in and then he's going to leave. We'll see. He's looking very cute. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you take a nappy? Take a nap. At least you're saying hi to everybody. I know lots of you like to see the kitty cats. So anyway, I'm going to share with you the items that I have finished for this particular project. At the beginning of the year, I rolled in 100 items in 10 different color categories. So 10 products in 10 different color categories. This project was originally created by Haley, who is Haley0614 on Instagram. And she's did this project for several years. And I finally decided to bite the bullet last year and do it for the first time. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. So let me share with you my color families. They are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, pink, purple, white, brown, and black. I will link my introduction to this project in the cards. I'm happy to say I have 28 items that are rolling out of this project, which is perfect. It's exactly kind of around the number that I need in order to hit my goal around 25 each quarter. So let me share with you what I have finished. I'm going to go by color family. Bye Ziggy. The first color is red and the first item I have is this body butter by Josie Marin. It's their whipped argan oil body butter and the scent was cranberry splash. This is a full size. It's all finished. This was really lovely. I enjoy this moisturizer so much. If you have really, 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 really dry skin and you don't mind the feel, not greasy, but really thick moisturizer, I would definitely recommend this. My second empty is from SK2. It's the RNA Power Moisturizing Cream. So this is a teeny tiny sample. I think it has like three mils. So yeah, this one is all finished. There's a little bit there on the bottom. Barely, I mean, you can't do anything with that. Can't even use it under your eyes. So anyway, that is finished. So those are my two red items. And then for orange, I have four. Two of them are by Sol de Janeiro. The first one is Brazilian Foreplay moisturizing shower cream gel. I really do like this product. It's pricey, but it smells so good. I would totally buy a full size of this. It's a luxury, but I would. I like that so much. And then I also have a sample of the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. This was a 24 mil tube. Nice product, not a holy grail anymore because it's not hydrating enough for me. Then by Pharmacy, I have the Green Clean Makeup Meltaway Cleansing Balm. This was in Tangerine Twist. I think I have three of these in this project and it is all finished. I really do enjoy this cleanser. It's lovely. Now the scent on that one was very faint. So if you're looking for something that I, you can smell, that's not the one I would go for. I mean, I could barely smell it. Then from Ole Henriksen, I have the Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum. And of course, Deluxe Eye Sample. This is seven mils. This was all right. It wasn't a holy grail or anything, but I didn't mind it. So I wouldn't say that I would purchase it again, but I wouldn't say no to using it again if I had a sample. Moving on to green, I have three items in this in this color category. The first one is by Herbivore. It's the Blue Tansy resurfacing clarity mask and I know it says blue tansy but this is actually more of a green hue you can kind of see the tint in the jar this is all finished I love this mask so much so much I absolutely would purchase more I have I love it from Fresh, I have the Tea Elixir Skin Resilience Activating Serum. This is okay. I don't think this is geared towards my skin type, which is dry. I would say normal, maybe oily, normal to oily. I'm not sure, but it's just, it's not, it's not for me. So I would not repurchase it, but the serum seemed nice. 
So if you're interested in this product, I would either try a sample or try the full size because it's actually a nice serum. The last item in the green category is a spun gel body wash infused buffer. This is in coconut blossom. These I know I looked online to say they should last 13 or 15 washes or something. I find they last like eight and it gets to the point where there's a little bit left in the center because when you first get this, this is like a hockey puck. It's hard like a hockey puck. And then you work water in and it lathers a little bit. And then over time, you're left with just a little bit left here in the center. And you can't really, like it doesn't foam up or anything. So I find I finish using these around eight washes. And therefore, I do not think these are worth the price at all. We'll never repurchase those. So those were the three in the green category. I have four in blue. This is kind of like a crossover color. The Rituals Ritual of Karma Mild Body Scrub Paste. This was actually really nice. I quite enjoyed this scrub. This is a sample, of course, it's 70 mils. I liked it. I don't know that I would purchase a full size because it's probably expensive. But when you compare it to the Tree Hut body scrubs, it's a much finer exfoliating bits in there so it's it's definitely more of like a a, a fine a, mi a mild it's definitely more mild but i liked it i thought it was nice so i think if i saw it if there were several of these in like an advent calendar that i would be kind of excited because i like this product and i would consider getting another advent calendar so far i have really liked most of the body Bath and Body stuff from Rituals. I had a shimmering body oil that I was like, nah, and some fragrance, like pillow mists that I could do without. But everything else I've tried, I've really enjoyed. In fact, I have another Rituals product in this project. From Herbivore, I have the Lapis Balancing Facial Oil. I just finished this. You can see the color there is blue. This is a lovely facial oil. I quite enjoy this. I have and would continue to purchase this one because I really do enjoy it. From Ole Henriksen, I have this Glow Dark Spot Toner and it's a teeny tiny little sample. It was eight mils. And this is not something that I think I need. I do sometimes need something to help with dark spots, but I actually have a, an a oil from Volition that is a fabulous and that's my preferred way to get rid of dark spots. So I would not repurchase that. And lastly, one of my favorite products is by Belief. This is the Moisturizing Eye Balm. So it's a sample of this. I love this moisturizer. It's so lovely. I do have a full size of this. It's a beautiful eye cream if you're looking for something like this. It's lovely. All right, those are all the blue products I finished. I have two pink, another of the Josie Marin Whipped Argan Oil Ultra Hydrating, Hydrating Body Butters. <laughs> And this is in Winter Gardenia. This was a nice floral scent. It wasn't overly floral, but it was really lovely. There it is. It's empty. This was one of their deluxe sizes. It's four ounces versus a full size is eight. So it didn't take me, of course, it took me half as long to finish as the other one. It's really nice. Nice scent. And then my second item in the pink color category is by Too Faced. It's their Better Than Sex Mascara. The last time I used this, I felt like it flaked really quickly. This one lasted a bit longer, which makes me think my last one was just on the older side. This one lasted quite a while. I really do enjoy this wand. Once it starts to dry out, just like the, I think it's the L'Oreal Lash Paradise, right? That one starts flaking and you get the same thing with this one. It does the same thing, but... I feel like this lasts a little bit longer in general. So I do like this mascara quite a bit. I like how fluffy it makes your lashes. I have three in the purple category. Another one of the spun gel body buffers. This is in lavender and this one, yeah, I, I same thing. I have the same experience with this one. This is actually a cute little purple butterfly, but yeah, it's all, it's all done. There's a hair of course on there story of my life. Anyway, would not purchase more of these, although I have several I need to get through. From Chapstick, I have the Total Hydration Wild Acai Berry 
lip balm. I actually quite enjoyed this. It smelled nice. It didn't crumble or anything. I'm working on one from EOS right now and it's just like falling apart on me. This is nice. I enjoyed this one. I don't know that I would repurchase it because I have other lip balms that I prefer, but yeah, it was fine. My last item in the purple category is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. This is a full size, one of my favorites, Holy Grail Cleansing Balm. I love this stuff. It's my favorite. Like every time I use it, I'm like, this is why I love you. Because it's a, it's just both this one and the pharmacy one go from a balm to an oil. But I prefer the way this one feels when I put it on. I feel like they both do a great job with removing makeup, you know, for the for a first cleanse. But I just prefer this product over the pharmacy one, like, by a tiny bit. By a teeny tiny bit. I still buy pharmacy, and I buy this, and I'm happy with both. But this one I like just a tad bit more. All right, now moving on to the white category. I have four items here. By MAC, I have a deluxe size of their strobe cream. This is fine, nothing to write home about. I don't need a product like this. In fact, there's a little bit that just squirted out, of course, because you know, you think you get it all and then it, you don't. Anyway, it's just, it's fine. It's nothing to write home about. From La Mer, I have their moisturizing creme, creme de La Mer, moisturizing creme. I did not think this was that fabulous. Now, I have had this a long time because for some reason I felt like I had to hoard it because it's so expensive. I just did not think it was that great. Look who's back. Look who's back. So yeah, I, I don't see what all the fuss is about. Hi. What are you doing? From Kate Somerville, I have the cold cream. I don't think she makes this anymore, but I like products like this, like a cream cleanser. I love cream cleansers. I think I preferred a little bit more creamy in terms of consistency or milky maybe is the right term for it, but this was fine. Uh, second cleanse, not first cleanse, second cleanse. Would not repurchase it, but I didn't mind it. And then I have a deluxe size from Sunday Riley. I have their good jeans. I freaking love this. I feel like when I use this, my face loves it. My skin loves this product. I was using another chemical exfoliator, <laughs> chemical exfoliator in the evening. And it was recommended to me by my sister who loves it. I just, and she doesn't have her skin doesn't react to this like mine does, and mine doesn't react to the one that she uses like it does for her. Like, this is just a holy grail for me. I love this. I can't get away from it. So, four items in the white color category. And now I have, I think, six here in the black color category, which is awesome. I think most of this is makeup. And then one is, I have one skincare or body care. This is by Rituals. It's the Ritual of Oud Foaming Shower Gel. It's got cat hair all over it. I'm so sorry. Here is this one. I love these things. They're great for travel. One of these will last you about a week. My only beef with it is it's your the first time using this, it's a little bit challenging to actually like break the seal here. But these are great for travel, and I do quite enjoy the actual shower gel itself. So I would consider getting more of them, but I've got these in an advent calendar, and that's probably how I'll get it next time. That was like two minutes. All right, the rest of these are makeup. So from It Cosmetics, I have the Bye Bye Pores Pressed Airbrush Powder. This was nice. I didn't hate this. I'm using another powder right now. I feel like it looks drier on my skin. This, you don't think you're getting anything on your brush. And then, but then you're mattified. Like not horribly matte, but you know, like your makeup is set. It's not bad. From YSL, I have the Instant Moisture Glow. The, and okay, this surprised me. I quite enjoyed this. I would compare it to... 
the vitamin rich face base and the way that I use it. So before I even do any, like before I put any primer on, I put this on and this is a like hydrating base to makeup application for me because I have very dry skin. I feel like that helps. I feel like this was very similar. This was a bit runnier and it's of course in a tube. So it's different packaging, but I really like this. I think it's probably more expensive than the Bobbi Brown. At least you can get the Bobbi Brown half off during random sales, either Ulta or they have like, usually they have a set that you can, like two of these you can get during the holidays for almost the price of one. I think I got two of these for like 68 bucks after it went on sale last year during the holidays. So but that's not to say if I saw this on sale, I wouldn't pick it up because it's actually really nice for somebody who has dry skin. I have two primers from MAC. They're both little minis. The first one is the Natural Radiance Primer, and I really did like this one. It gave a nice glow. I preferred this one over the strobe cream, and I also preferred the consistency of this one. This one didn't feel as matte as the strobe cream does. And that's not to say that the strobe cream is mattifying because it's not really but it definitely has a more matte feel than the natural radiance does this one was a lot more hydrating and then i have the skin based massage this was okay i feel like it had a similar consistency to the strobe cream so it would not be a purchase for me but i would consider the natural radiance one i don't know if they still make it but i did like that one hi milo Siggy is beside himself. I don't know if you can see him. This is the last item by Makeup Forever Ultra HD Skin Booster. Okay, so this is a product that I don't necessarily feel like I need. It's kind of like a hybrid makeup skincare product. I used this kind of like I used the Becca Elixir, whatever that one was last year. I would use my Vitamin Rich Face Base, and this is just an added boost of, of hydration and I would put this on like a serum after the vitamin rich face base and then I would put on a primer. So it felt like an extra step, unnecessary extra step, but I got through it. So those are the 28 items that I finished in the project so far. And that means I have what? I have 72 items remaining, which is fa fabulous. I actually have one that's really close that I couldn't show you today, but you know, and I'm using a, a all that to say, I'm using a lot of items right now. I just don't have any other empties to show you, but I have been using so many more of these. So hopefully we'll have similar results in, let's see, June, right? J yeah, June. Anyway, that is going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you are doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Zig. Hi, Ziggy. Hi. Yeah. What you doing? Come here. Oh. What you doing? Hi. Hi. Why don't you go over here? Hi. What are you doing, buddy? Look at that belly. Look at that belly. <laughs> bite, bite, lick. Bite, bite, lick. Can I get to filming, please? Look at your tail. Look at his tail go.
You making biscuits? Are you making air biscuits? From Ola Henriksen, I have the Glow OH. And then lastly, in the pink category, no, uh uh. I thought this stro stro. stro. <laughs> Not that this. Stro oh my gosh. Not that the, mm -hmm. not that the stoke, oh wow. <laughs> okay, bye.